Hey guys, now in this video, let's discuss stateful versus stateless logic apps. Now, till now, whatever logic apps we have discussed, those are stateful logic apps. And now, in this video, let us understand stateful versus stateless logic apps. And then, in our next video, we'll see a demo of stateless logic app. So, the stateful versus stateless logic app. So it's the most important difference is in stateful logic app run history is maintained and in stateless as you can guess run history is not maintained. So that means we can open past runs and we can find the inputs and outputs in those past runs. And in stateless, as you can guess, as there is no run history is maintained, that means there is no trace of past runs. That means it is fire and forget model. Now, when you should use which one? So, for example, stateful, we should use for long running processes. For example, leave approval process. And stateless, we should use it for quick tasks, which we don't want to backtrack. So, for example, we have to call a simple API. And now guys, the fourth is, as you can guess, stateful, they will be little slow and stateless. These logic apps, they are fast. And, and finally guys, see for logic app, we have two pricing tiers, consumption and then standard. So, consumption plan supports only stateful logic apps. But standard pricing tier, it supports both stateless and stateful logic apps. And so obviously if you want to create stateless logic app, you have to go ahead with standard pricing tier. So that's it guys for this video. And now let's see a demo of stateless logic app in our next video. Thank you.